Today I visited the Goodwill Outlet bins in Fort Myers, Florida. My family lives actually in Cape Coral, so it's about a 25 minute drive from there. So some things I should start with. One, the quality of this video is probably a three out of 10 because I am holding it up against a globe that I found in my parents' house. I have no um, ring light, I have nothing. So this is just the real me um, in a sweatshirt I stole from my mom's closet. So some things about the Fort Myers bins. First thing, tons of parking. Um, there are carts and there are bathrooms. So if you're me and you are looking at what you're going to expect when you go to the bins, the most important thing is the bathrooms. The bathrooms were clean, um, easy to get to. And then the weirdest thing. So when I went to the Salinas bins, you would not dare leave your stuff because someone would definitely take it. But if the Fort Myers bins, everyone leaves their cart everywhere. No one touches it. It was like mind blowing to me. Um, there was definitely a mutual understanding that you don't touch anyone's cart. It was pretty cool. Most people were pretty respectful. Overall went well. Let me show you what I found. So I found these really cool pants. They are Frontier Classics. So they are these cool replica um, Western pants. They are a really nice tan color and they are a size, hold on, let me look. I will tell you, they are a size 32. So I thought those were really neat and I couldn't leave those. I found a Ralph Lauren, a 100% wool. It's a 39 short. It is a plaid blazer. It looks virtually brand new. It shows absolutely no wear, so had to of course take this on. And again, sorry for the world's worst photo quality. I can see it's like incredibly close, so my apologies. Um, I found a vintage Y2K dress. It is a Jody Michael and it's a size 11, 12, which I always think, you know, when things are badass, when they're in the size, the juniors like 11, 12, cause you know, that's like the OG vintage from when I was going to middle school dances. Um, this was a, obviously it was from the Goodwill. They had just sent it off cause it hadn't sold, but it was in excellent condition. It's a Pont J gel tunic. It's a Hunter green size large. And I was living for the little cute little like side pocket detail. So that'll be cute. A lot of this stuff is going to be for my whatnot live auction. Some of it will go directly on Poshmark. It's just going to kind of be about where I think I'm going to get the most attraction. Like this is definitely going to be for whatnot. So this is a Lane Bryant one size kimono and it would be really cute over like a long sleeve black shirt with some skinny jeans and some booties. That's going to be pretty cute. If Erica's watching this, she's probably going to try and jack that for me. I found another Y2K vintage, I can't believe I'm saying vintage Forever 21, that's how you know I'm old, but it's a vintage Forever 21 piece and the details on the arms are really cool. It has like a really nice 70s vibe, be cute with some high-waisted jeans and some of those like Y2K chunky loafers. Um, a fun basic, this is a Chico's linen top, another piece that was from the Goodwill directly. You can always tell when they have the tags on them that it came from the store and wasn't just a raw donation. Um, this is a piece that I've actually sold a couple times from this brand. It's Lulu B. It's a fun, almost like a Lily Pulitzer, like a fun beach brand. It's got that slinky material. It's really light, really easy to wear. I'm picturing that with like a white pair of capri pants. That would be very cute. What's this? It's kind of exciting to go through it again because I'm seeing things I don't remember. So this was an extra, extra large. It was the little dress swim romper. Um, if it was one size smaller, I would definitely try this on. I think it's really cute. A fun tropical print. Brand new with tag still attached. This was something, a brand I had never heard of, but it had decent comps on Poshmark and it was a 100% linen. It's Vasna. I'll show you guys the tag if you can see it. This is a size extra large. It's a tunic dress. It's a floral, like a, like a powder blue with a floral print. This I bought more on style than on brand. It's a divided H&M, size medium. Um, I'm gonna definitely try it on if I can get away with this. This is everything. I live for gingham. It has a smocked back and this is just exactly the kind of style with a pair of high-waisted shorts, some cute sandals and you're ready for a concert. This was missing the brand tag, but I looked up the RN number and it's either a miracle suit or a magic suit. It is a size, hold on, also a size 12. So really great condition, didn't show anywhere. So definitely had to take this home. I'm a huge miracle suit and magic suit lover. I love thrifting in Florida because you can always find tons of swimwear. 
In California, it's almost never that you can find swimwear, but here you can always find it and it's usually high quality. I feel like I should pause and do an advertisement for Sweetwater. It's a Florida brewing company. This is my first beer by them, but it's very good. This is the Hazy IPA. Shout out to Shirley. She was our diamond level Instacarter yesterday. She brought us some great beer. The ones that we requested were out. So she showed us some of these and this one's pretty good. So a little shout out for Sweetwater Brewing. And also cheers for beer for keeping me here. That rhymed, I didn't even attend it. This was just a basic, it was a wool Eddie Bauer new tag socks. I'll probably use those for a whatnot giveaway, but for, oh, I didn't even say this. So it was $1.89 a pound for clothes and it was $2.09 a pound for shoes and then a quarter for books. So I bought a book for myself to read and then she had me measure weigh the shoes separately and then she weighed my cart for the clothes so all of this you're about to see was 43 dollars and some change so it was an amazing deal i was expecting to spend when i knew what my cart was and i knew how much stuff i had i was thinking i was going to spend at least 100 so when she said 43 dollars, i was freaking amazed because as you can see i got a good amount of stuff this is another basic that i'm going to use on whatnot it's a j crew factory but i thought it was too cute and super super light so it probably cost me like 40 cents so it definitely worth the money this is one of the finds of the day um i could totally be dramatic and save it to the end but i'm just going through things as i find them i'm pretty sure it's real i'm gonna do some more research but we got ourselves prada it's a size 40 it's a silk skirt it's a really cute black basic but the condition the construction, everything looks real. So I'm really hopeful that that will check out. I got a Fanatics Chicago Bears shirt. I thought there'd be a fan for that and I liked the size, it was a 1X. So I think that'll be good for Posh. Okay, so these are a pair of vintage Levi's. Great vintage tag, it's a size 32 waist, but it's a really awkward cut because I think they're actually made for, because they say husky, so I think they're made for a little boy, but I'm gonna crop them and make them into a cute pair of cutoffs. So I love the vintage Levi's, but the length is a little weird because again, it's intended for a little kid, so. Um, couldn't leave this behind. I It is a vintage Green Bay Packers size 4T sweatshirt but it was the damn cutest little thing I've ever seen with the little hood, so I just couldn't leave it behind. And again, since everything's based on weight, it was probably like 50 cents. This I found right away, and I knew by the design, I could tell by just glancing at it that it was Brighton. It's in really, really great condition. It's leather. It is a size 36, so that was a must have. Couldn't leave that behind. These are some Victoria's Secret pajama pants, really smooth and silky. I'm actually gonna try these on for myself and if they work, I'm keeping them. If not, probably gonna whatnot them. They were a really cute piece. So this piece I felt and felt like it was quality. So I thought I had seen the brand that another Instagrammer had shown, ice cream. And it's this fun like dip dye flannel. And I looked it up and it looks like the comps are kind of crazy. It has this logo on it. So this might be one of the finds of the day. Hopefully that will be successful on Poshmark. These two both need to be cleaned. So this, so cute, so light, a little coach wristlet. But if you can see, it's got kind of like a yellow hue to it. So I'm gonna dip it into some OxyClean and hopefully we can get it a little bit cleaned up. If not, probably gonna do a giveaway and whatnot, but couldn't leave her behind, had to rescue her. And then this was absolutely stinking adorable. It's a cropped Levi's jacket and it's got like this huge front pocket on it. But I did notice when I was putting it in my cart, where is it? That it has this little mark right here. Um, if I can get it out from soaking, great. If not, I'm gonna sell it as is, but could not leave that behind. Good Levi's jackets, I really, really struggle with leaving behind because I just think they're so dang cute and so practical and timeless. So had to take that. I got one more bag. This was a boutique brand, but two things. It was a great size, extra large, and two, it was just a really, really cute print with a great cut. So I grabbed this kimono because I thought that would do well and whatnot as well. This is for my bestie. Um, she is obsessed with the Grinch and this looked like it had never been worn. It's a Grinch. I think it's a sleep t-shirt, but it's this really, really soft tee that I know she's gonna get a lot of wear out of. So that'll be for her. I think that's the only thing I got that I'm not gonna be reselling. 
This was a love stitch dress. It's a medium large. Love Stitch actually does decently on Poshmark and it's a very cute style and cut. The color is like a powder blue with a floral print. Another Levi's jacket. This one is a size small, but it had like the built-in thermal sleeves. So cute, excellent condition. Looks brand new without the tags. I squealed when I found this. So I love Victoria's Secret Gold Label. I live for it. I think it's one of the best sellers. And this piece was in mint shape, absolutely nowhere. Really beautiful piece. That was really exciting. And then the last thing, so I was standing there and I was waiting for them to bring the next bins out. And I was kind of trying to learn the flow because when you go to new bins, you want to make sure that you're following what everyone else is doing and respecting everything. And they brought out the bins and everyone was digging through them like mad people. Like you're gonna see in my slay sin that uh, my best friend swears he can do because I have no idea how to edit videos. And um, they were done, they put all the bins out and one of the Goodwill employees had come out and she dropped a couple pieces in. And I glanced and I saw a pair of boots out of the corner of my eye and nobody ran for them. So I walked over and y'all, are you ready for this? I hope you can see it. Can you see that vintage? Fry. So I screamed, tried to not act like a mad person because I was so excited. They're a tall boot with a little bit of heel. They're like a red color. So you can kind of already see my mom spent about three minutes cleaning this one very briefly. It's pretty good shape. This one needs a little love. So husband says you can get some leather cleaner and it's going to clean them up. But this, I was dead. It was one of the highlights of my whole trip. So Prada skirt, that ice cream flannel and those fry vintage boots. All of this for $43. That's pretty mind blowing. Um, overall, it was a great time. Again, bathrooms, carts, and great parking. People were pretty courteous. The employees were fantastic. I like that they actually enforce the rules. At one point, I heard a manager telling somebody, you know, you know the rules, and I think it was probably a regular. Don't be crowding the bins. Don't be crowding the employees. So everyone was pretty respectful. I ran into another reseller. We chatted for a second. How do I know she was a reseller? Like, she was definitely looking up comps on Posh when she was standing next to me, but. It was overall a great trip. I would highly recommend it. And if you have any questions, leave them in the comments. Bye.